Alright. Hey guys, what's YouTube Marvels? Yes, I'm back from another commentary. I know I did a commentary, but I just felt like doing another commentary. And today's commentary will be on my yep, once again, another my life video is 2004's video. And it will be on his right on Sesame Street Hater. The reason why I'm doing this is because he needs to handle those who hate Sesame Street. So in either way, let's just continue on with it. Sesame Street haters. More like Sesame Street fans. Guess what, Patrick Star? That proves you gotta hold those who hate Sesame Street! Oh my god, these haters suck. These haters make shitty rants on Sesame Street. What the hell? Sesame Street is my favorite show on PBS Kids. Sesame Street's my favorite PBS Kids show too. But I'm not gonna bash opinions on those who hate that cell. Even though it's my favorite PBS Kids show, that doesn't mean I'm gonna bash their opinion on it because I know it's their opinion. Not everyone's gonna like Sesame Street. You need to learn the fact, my little fun of Vanity for. Also, this proves you are a Christian media Sunday, no one I be. Because you also run down SpongeBob SquarePants haters, my life as a teenage robot haters, and lots of other type of haters, especially his own haters. Well, at least the only good thing I can say about you is, at least you did not rat down your own haters because that proves you cannot hold your hate at all. But either way, let's just continue on. They keep saying stuff like Sesame Street, more like Sesame Park, and this show sucks. Not only that, but now you're just using no by now, the more like terms are getting overused. And besides, I was pretty much saying people do normal runs. Well, except Christmas Sunday. Oh, wait, actually, Christmas Sunday. No, it doesn't hate Sesame Street. Maybe Peter, anime, I feel like he hates Sesame Street instead of Spring and Barney as well. But whatever. I hope these haters get terminated on YouTube. Well, you know that's only gonna happen if they get three copyright strikes or three community guideline strikes. Do you know who likes these haters? Nobody cares! All haters, all the villains from Leon and Koi. Those sound like fictional characters, but anyway, seriously! Fictional characters don't have opinions! And this proves you are a Christmas just said no one abby! Man, what a Christmas just said no one abby you are! I bet they like to jerk off of them 24 7. And do you know who hates these haters? Old characters from the Little Einsteins. Oh my god, do I really have to say it again? Like I mentioned, fictional characters don't have opinions! Ugh. And like I mentioned, this proves you are a Christmas just saying you know what I because you accidentally put in fictional characters, and you used to know right now that you don't have opinions. Well, not on other fictional characters at least. They want to kill all the characters. No, they don't! Because the killing is illegal anyways, and you can go to jail and go to prison for life if you kill someone in real life. They want to kill all the haters, so screw Sesame Street haters, and screw that shitty movie with a troll in Central Park. What does a troll in Central Park have to do with Sesame Street haters? You're being out topic right now, even though I never, I never, even though I don't remember watching that film, I think. And screw that shitty Thundercats bar. Wow, you have to put two things that were even worse. But anyways, really? And also, what does Thundercats War have to do with Sesame Street haters anyways? You're still being out topic right now. Sesame Street is one million times better than these haters. End of rant. Next rant. Thundercats War. Well, all I'm gonna say is, it did suck. Why? Because... This rant reminds me of Chris Mewes saying you know's rant on Spongebob Squarepants haters, even before he got terminated. And not only that, but this proves he is a Chris Mewes saying you know wannabe. And besides, you need to handle those who hate Sesame Street. And this rant was just as bad as his rant on me. Well, I still find his rant on me even worse because he gave false reasons to hate me. But at least all the reasons why he hates Sesame Street haters are true because he likes Sesame Street. But not, well, only, well, not one, only one false thing was false because not everyone has a Beyond Solid rant. But either way, like I mentioned, it's that. And like I mentioned, Nick and characters don't have opinions on the TV and their TV show. And my last one, Vanity is 2004. I hope this video will also make you learn your lesson on privating that commentary on me and privating that rant on me just because I do worried if you got if you do a commentary on it. And also, this proves you cannot handle criticism. And this proves you are a Christmas Sunday you know, one Abbey. You're nothing but a Christmas Sunday you know, one Abbey. That's all I'm gonna say to you, my last one, Vanity is 2004. So learn how to handle criticism. Well, like I mentioned, thanks for watching this commentary, and I'll see you later for more commentaries, anyways.